Hey folks, welcome to Wisconsin Family. I'm Jessa Jeremiah. And I'm Justin Riley, and here we are in the lower level of Rubens Furniture over on the west side of Madison. And what a great place this is. They've got beautiful home theater systems and great. home office setups. It's great. We're going to talk to those folks a little bit later. I know. I'm always surprised at the selection here. I never know exactly what we're going to talk about and what to expect, but I did not know that there was home theater options in yeah, our home. Yeah, absolutely. And I didn't even know there was a lower level, actually. Yeah. Well, all here of their, at the west side. Yeah, all of their locations. Both their locations have mm -hmm. multiple levels. It's just huge. They're vast. Huge. Yes, yeah. they're vast. So if you're looking for some furniture, boy, can you find some here and yeah. a, a wide selection. It's very fun. But before you get to relax in some furniture, you need to get out to the, the gym and work out a little bit. So we're going to talk with some folks from Flight Cycle and Dragonfly Hot Yoga. And they're going to give us some tips on how we can stay in shape during this holiday season. So important and so needed. It's so easy to sort of fall off the wagon this time of year in terms yeah. of diet and health. And it's nice to have them kind of keep us on track, right? Yep, absolutely. We'll talk to them. And we're also going to learn a little bit about soap, believe it or not. Yeah. There's a natural soap out there that is local here in our Madison grocery stores that is chemical free that does the job and I think you might be surprised at some of the uses. So we'll talk to the soap nut lady. Yeah, it's not just body soap. It can be used on dishes. It can be used on uh, laundry and so forth. So it's got a wide variety of uses. Yeah, a great alternative for, for families out there who are looking yep. to stay chemical free and help the environment. We'll talk to her after the break here on Wisconsin Family. So stick around. Hey folks, welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We're here on location at Rubens Furniture down in the lower level over yes. on the west side of Madison. I didn't even know there was a lower level and here we are. It's lovely. Yeah, they've got a great home theater system set up here. It's pretty cool. We're going to be talking to those folks later on in the program. Looking forward to it. But first, I'm joined again by Peggy McClellan, also known as the Soap Nut Lady. Pe Peggy, welcome back to our station. Thank you so much. Yeah, if you were on Talk of the Town a few weeks ago. Yes, I was. Yeah, it's good to have you back. So um, for viewers out there who don't know, uh, tell us a little bit about what is a soap berry or a soap nut. Okay. You're not the soap nut. Well, <laughs> not, yes I am. Well, you are, but. <laughs> um, soap nuts grow on trees right. and they're nature's soap. Mm -hmm. And that's the big thing. I'm trying to, I'm nature's answer to big name products. Got it. There you go. Um, well I've put. Been, I've been, yeah. Yes, I'm supposed to be more careful with that. Um, but it grows on trees. You can use do it, your laundry with it. You have dishwasher pods. We've got um, bar soap. We've got a concentrate. Everything that we have will clean your whole house organically. Wow. Um, I'm organically certified, which I didn't only had to give up my firstborn, which <laughs> that was okay. And a little yeah. bit of blood, not much. Oh my goodness. But um, it'll clean everything you have in your house. Well, that was my next question was, you kind of ran through a couple of them. What products are there? So you said everything in your house. So there's a dishwashing detergent? Because a lot of people are just thinking like, you know, fancy hand soaps, bar right. soaps, but it's more than that. Oh, it is. I have a dishwasher pod, and I've been an acupuncturist for 37 years now. Oh. So I've been doing things naturally for a long time. So our pods are made from a non-GMO cornstarch. So you could eat all of our products, and the worst that would oh happen to you is you would get some poo pants <laughs> oh because it's soap. But other than that, there's nothing that would harm you. So I have pods for the dishwasher, and if you use that and mm -hmm. white vinegar in place of your Cascade and Jet Dry or whatever you're using, then there's no petrochemicals that are drying on your dishes and your glasses that you're consuming mm -hmm. when uh, you put your food and beverage on there again. That's so nice for that. people yeah. with kids to, to know that. I mean, just even the scare of having to hide those products and exactly. if something were to happen and in this case you really don't need to you could eat it if yeah, you had to you, yeah, yeah you could. probably yeah. not recommend it uh, right. no it doesn't taste very good i tried no. it it doesn't taste good <laughs> you try all your products I, of course i do <laughs> that's good um, that's good we so, also have a laundry pod 
as well as the dishwasher pod, and then we have the soap nuts themselves. And you can get five to eight loads of laundry out of one little muslin bag. Really? Which makes like eight cents a load as opposed to 75 to 97 cents a load. Wow. So wow. it's uh, talking cost effective. Talking about those other guys we're not going to mention again. That we're not talking <laughs> about, no. Right. So, so speaking of those other guys, mm -hmm. what are some of the benefits of using uh, Soap Nut Lady products versus some of the big name products? I mean, you mentioned that it's totally edible. You don't get that film on your dishes and so forth. But talk about Correct. some of the other benefits that you get. Um, the biggest benefit, and that's why I'm doing this and I'm so passionate about this, is our earth has been filled with petrochemicals mm -hmm. and they're killing her. Mm -hmm. And she's the only one we have, kind of small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all of these products that I make are earth friendly sure. and that's what I'm after. So the biggest thing that I can say is it's petrochemical free. Right. That's great. Yeah. So not only good for just keeping your home environment safe but also bigger picture environment. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm nice. after, the whole picture. I like yeah. that. Let's talk a little bit about some of the useful but also kind of unusual ways to use some of these Soap Nut Lady products. All right. We've got, a, it's a natural um, antimicrobial and antifungal. So it? it's great for gray water. Um, I have oh. a farmer who used it. He had aphids on his Napa cabbage, and he sprayed them down the, the night before, mm -hmm. and the next day they were all gone. What's aphids? Aphids, they're a little bug that eats plants. OK, gotcha. So yeah. it actually took so care of that. So it took care of that. It, we've used it on cicada bugs. We've used it in a lot of places in Palm mm -hmm. Springs where they have a lot of pests that they have to deal with but they're using uh, chemicals that are not good. So you can right. use this and make a concentrate out of it and spray it and use it without hurting anything. Wow, yeah. that so is you, interesting. It takes care of the problem without all the collateral damage. Exactly, basically. exactly. Yeah. Well put, yeah. yeah. Very good. So what, if someone wants to, someone who's watching wants to find out a little bit more about Soap Nut Lady products, what, uh, where would you direct them to go? Well, they can go to soapnutlady.com uh, mm -hmm. and then I am in the Hy-Vee grocery chain and I give out free samples there. Mm -hmm. oh. Um, they are 10% off there. I you were in Hy-Vee, that's great. Yeah, Good we're in all you. three Hy-Vee. I've spoken with the others and we're working on getting into them as well. Fantastic. So that's a good thing, but I always give out free samples because once people try it, yeah. you know, it looks different. It kind of looks like these little, people don't know what to do with well, it. Well, I think part, sure. of the, part of it too is when you hear something is organic and, and you know, free of some of these chemicals and dyes, you wonder if it's going to work. I've got a 100% money back guarantee and I have know. for almost five years now. Good for you. Yeah. But that probably helps with your sampling too. People can take it home and see yeah. it's working. Yeah. The it's bar soap that I use, um, the reason I'm in Hy-Vee is one of the managers had um, psoriasis. Oh. And by getting out of all the chemicals, mm -hmm. got rid of the psoriasis. Wow. I use it to wash my hair, my husband shaves with it. It's oh. pretty good stuff. That's outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Good for so you, you. You stand by your products and you sound like you're a mover and a shaker. <coughs> you're just out there and you're uh, hitting the streets and you're trying to get to spread the word about the soap nuts. <laughs> well, Hit they the have streets. no choice. <laughs> yeah. As long as they don't as long as they don't move, I'll talk to them. Right, so. there you go. There you go. That's well, good. Peggy McClellan, soap nut lady, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you so Thanks, much. Peggy. You have a great day. Don't go away. There's more with Wisconsin family coming up right after this. Stick around. Hey folks, welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We're filming here at Rubens Our Lifestyle, which is their location on the west side on Whitney Way, and exciting, huh? Yep, we're down here in the lower level. They've got some great home theater systems set up, and we're gonna find out how to get one of those in our own home. I know, yeah. exciting. We'll chat with those folks a little bit later, but you're probably starting to think about the holidays. We have Christmas and all kinds of wonderful holidays coming up, and what a great time to talk about fitness. So yep. joining us from Dragonfly, Hot Yoga, and Flight Cycle, we have Natalie and Ashton, and we're so pleased to have you ladies. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Now, because people are starting to think about shopping and the holidays coming up and some great presents for under their tree, let's talk about some fitness deals. What's going on at Dragonfly and Flight? So at Flight right now, you can always get your first flight free. And then with upcoming deals throughout the year, I'll just have to check back on the website. We do have frequent discounts that come up. First flight free. Not only <laughs> is that a mouthful, but it's a great deal. Yeah. Thanks. And then at Dragonfly, we're going to be offering our intro month, which is normally $40 for 20. So you get a whole month of unlimited yoga and fitness for 20 bucks. Very cool, very yeah. cool. And Ashton, I see on your schedule that you have um, these uh, theme rides or theme flights. Can you talk to us a little bit about what that's about? Sure. 
Um, it's a great fun experience and we set them up with a different variety but for example a couple weeks ago I did an 80s versus 90s theme flight. Oh, <laughs> so all nice. the music is from the 80s and the 90s. So you can hear some of your favorites, it's easy to sing along. But other examples are Halloween flight, uh, fright flight that we did. Um, mm -hmm. Or there's like Nicki Minaj versus Beyonce. So all different sorts of music and to really get you into the flight and the workout and you can sing along and have some fun. You really do Love base it. you really do base your workouts around the music. I mean it's oh, that's yeah. really the feeling that Especially you get. Especially cycle. Yeah, you really you know that's the feeling I get is that you've been to a dance party and not, yeah. you know, <laughs> cycled 60,000 miles or something like that. Yeah. So, and you're yeah. cycling and you're in that room and I can only imagine being in that cool setting that you have at flight like having the music pumping oh, and yeah. you know you got your theme going on. <laughs> yeah. Sounds fun to me. I love it. Yeah. It's a ton of fun. <laughs> um, so let's Natalie, I want to talk a little bit about your yoga too because sure. you've got a program or a class called Yoga Up and I don't know a lot about it so share with us. Sure. So Yoga Up is going to be kind of a combination between fitness and yoga. So you get yoga asanas, so yoga poses, mm -hmm. plus you have cardio, cardio bursts, and then you have strength training. So it's kind of a combination of all three of those things. Mm -hmm. We have a 45 minute format and a 60 minute format. Oh, so wow. you can really kind of pick and choose. Um, we offer them at all four studios and then you can also get certified to teach it and then take it to your studio. So you can oh, bring cool. Dragonflies Yoga up to your oh, studio. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got four places to choose from, so yeah. yep. lots of options to just do it right there at Dragonfly. That's great. Yeah, it's Absolutely. a great class. And Ashton, I want to come back to you for a second because the I'm, I'm really intrigued by the, the class offerings that you have mm -hmm. at Flight. They were developed specifically for Flight. Can you um, can you take us through like what the program is there at Flight sure. Cycle? So they're based on authentic cycling principles, mm. your hills, your sprints, but then we incorporate a little bit of upper body work so that you really get a total body workout. And these classes yeah. are designed for everybody. If you've never stepped, or stepped, sat on a bike before, or if you're an experienced cyclist, we really have a nice variety for everyone. Wow, I think that's really nice. And I think that's important <laughs> to know, to pause on for folks out there who haven't tried it before, but it really is for all skill levels. And I think people, I've said this before probably, yeah. but I think it's true that people have a little bit of a stigma with cycle that you need to like be really experienced or be an outdoor cyclist or have the right shoes and the right outfit and all that kind of stuff. And that's just really not true. You can walk in and take a class no matter what your fitness level yep. and experience. Very true. And you'll be hooked when you do. He will. You will be hooked. Will. It's so fun. <laughs> um, and let's talk a little bit back to Dragonfly. Now, do you guys have, Natalie, is there a mobile app that you're doing? There is, okay. yes. Yeah. So we have a Dragonfly specific app. You just search Dragonfly. Fly Hot Yoga in the App Store. It's free. Um, and then you can filter out by location or you can view all locations. Mm -hmm. You can sign up for classes right there. There's a oh, little great. button that says book it when you find the class you want. You can just click in and it takes you to our schedule. We're all so digital and yeah. you know fast paced these days. It's nice yep. to have those options where you don't have to you know plan too far in advance. It's on your mind. You can do it right there on your phone and boom you're all set. Yep. It's like my that. favorite way to book it. It's just very simple and easy and yeah. right yeah. at your fingertips. So Right as you're thinking about it while yep. it's at the top of your there mind. There is an app for yeah. that. There really <laughs> is. Yeah. So Ashton and Natalie, I want to kind of ask both uh, both of you this question. Um, first of all, tell us where you're located and how to contact if people have any questions. Yeah, so we have four locations like I mentioned. We're in Sun Prairie, the new Prairie Lakes um, development. Yeah. Wow. Just the first Sun Prairie exit. That place is just growing. It's it, incredible. It is. It is. Yeah. It's beautiful out there. Um, we are in Middleton, uh, Junction Road, right by flight. Yes. We're in Fitchburg off of McKee and then we're downtown on West Johnson in the new Ovation apartment building. Lots so. of great places for folks to find you and get started and you know we talked a little bit about kind of you know that it's for every fitness level when it comes to when it comes to flight and when it comes to those classes, what do you think in terms of yoga for folks out there who haven't tried it before? What do you think? Is it can you kind of just give it a go? Do you recommend you know taking a certain class or how does that work? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everyone that works at Dragonfly really takes the time to work with each client that mm -hmm. comes in and find the right and find the right class that fits their needs and their experience level. Um, anyone is welcome. Our classes really are similarly tailored to fit all levels, every size, every shape, every person is our is our That's motto. Yeah. So um, it's it's incredible and the community feeling there is pretty pretty awesome. That's so. great. Well thanks for sharing that. Natalie and Ashton join us from Dragonfly Hot Yoga and Flight Cycle. I challenge you to give them a try. <laughs> We're gonna be back with Wisconsin Family, so stay tuned.
and welcome back to Wisconsin Family. And here we are, we've been filming all show here at Rubens Furniture, Rubens Our Lifestyle, down in the lower level over here on the west side of Madison. We sure have. They've got such great things to show here. They've got some home theater systems, some home office setups. It's really great. And now we are going to have the honors of talking with Mr. Adam White. Adam, how are you? I am well. It's good to see you. Yeah. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. We've always enjoyed being here. It is here. my pleasure. Yeah. So you, uh, you're around this stuff every day. This is your job. This is the life you live. This is your lifestyle. So talk to us a little bit about some of the, the trends that you see you know, coming through these days when it comes to media rooms or home theater systems. Sure, sure. Uh, we have been getting a lot of requests lately for bars, bar stools, AV units, um, home theater seating, that sort of thing. A lot of folks seem to be transitioning their old rec rooms mm -hmm. into media rooms or yes. home theater rooms. So we've been trying to provide them solutions for mm -hmm. those things. Yeah. I think that's a great idea too because what a fun way to make use of an extra space, an extra room if you have one or you know a lot of people have that basement that maybe is a family room that they really don't yeah. use that often. Exactly. And now you can have a place for the whole family to sit and kick back and yeah. watch a movie in style and comfort and you don't have to leave home anymore, especially yeah. in this weather. Or yeah, just exactly. a, a man cave too, I suppose. We're, we're <laughs> trying to keep, keep it inclusive yeah. and avoid yeah. just a man. It is football People season. Cave. But, uh, yes, Women exactly. like football <laughs> too, <laughs> you know. Um, let's talk a little bit. We've talked to you before about customization. Sure. But does this apply to this kind of uh, set up. Can you do customized bar stools and things like that? Yeah, good question. Absolutely. All of the bar stools that we offer are going to be available in either counter or bar height. Lots of different finishes from the base of the stool to the upholstery on the stool. Wow. Um, all home theater seating is available in leather or fabric. So yeah, everything oh, again is, is customizable. Wow. Sure. That's so nice because, you know, there's probably not a, a hugely wide selection of things in, in home theater. So to be able to come in and really make it your own and your own space and if you're going to do a room like that you may as well have it exactly what you want right exactly yep. i mean this is kind of a dream room so i think it's it's a great way to to get it perfect for your own home absolutely and i just want to interject and, and ask how does that process start you talk about customizing different pieces of furniture where does that start do you start with uh, a list of options or do you start by talking to the potential customer or the customer and asking them you know what they're looking for or how does that all start? Sure. A lot of times it starts with a space plan. Folks will come in. These are the dimensions of my room. This sure. is what we have to work with. We can then help them with that. They generally will choose the design of the piece. And then we can help them with different configurations as far as seating goes or what style uh, AV unit will fit mm -hmm. in that space for them. And that's cool that you mentioned that because that's how involved in the process you folks are is you're actually going to take possibly a setup of this room mm -hmm. and then and go by dimensions and you're almost like creating a little map of that space exactly to see right. what's going to fit properly. You got it. That's quite the process and not a lot of places do that so I think that's incredible that you're going to do that because the worst thing about buying furniture is when you get home and you realize gosh this really isn't as big as I thought it was or, or it's, geez, too, it's big. too big. Oh yeah big that's a very space. common yeah. issue. Yeah. yeah so I think that's incredible that you're that detailed. Now you we're talking about AV units. Tell us a little bit about those and how what kind of selection you have in terms of those. Uh, right now we seem to really be doing well with a company named BDI out of California. Okay. Uh, their units seem to just be a little bet better thought out than a lot of the other ones out there. All the backs have sliding doors, everything is vented, it's much easier to access your components should you need to at some point, which you always do right. eventually. Yes. So, yes. Um, yeah, they've been doing really well for us. That's really That's nice. Great. So that convenience is important when it comes to media centers. I think people forget about that, but you know, when you do need to move something or get to something and or swap something out as technology changes so quickly, you got it. Yep, having a true. system that makes that easy is is going to save you a lot of headache and keep your hair, you won't be pulling your hair right. out, right yeah. Justin? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, definitely. So let's talk a little bit about the types of um, types of seating that people are asking for when they come in and they want you to design a home theater system. What are they looking for? What's popular there? Well, there are quite a few options actually. You can do anything from just uh, kind of standard recliner chairs sure. to pieces that are actually made as home theater units that are all connected um, that will provide cup holders sure. and all sorts of things if you like that. Yeah. Yes, um, I do. So there, yeah, there, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There, there are quite a few options and certainly that's something we can help you with too. Sure. 
Sure. Excellent. What are your final, you know, kind of recommendations for somebody who's coming in and thinking about doing something like this with their space? Is there a recommendation that you have? What piece do you start with? How do you build this room? Where do you begin? That's a great question. You know, it generally begins with uh, the focal point, which is going to be the TV, or if it's a projection okay. style TV, that's kind of where we start. I was going to say the popcorn table. That's right. not the yeah, focal yeah, point. Yeah, right. <laughs> It depends on the room, I suppose. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, generally with the AV unit, or if there's no uh, actual physical unit needed, then the projection TV, and we will go from there as far as the seating tends to be the first thing, mm -hmm. uh, deciding whether they want to do a, a true home theater style or maybe just a reclining sofa. Mm -hmm. And from there, we generally get into uh, the bars or bistro tables. And then finally, what I really like to do that I think kind of caps it all off is some artwork. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Great that you mentioned that too, because we're getting all, you know, into the furniture and the pieces. But you really want that full setting, and mm -hmm. that's where you guys come in too as experts of design. You really are able to create the complete room and the complete look. And it's not just about the furniture, and not a lot of places are able to do that seamlessly. And it really is kind of a, a, a building out process. It seems like that's you said, right. starting yeah. with a focal point, and yep. then you kind of build out from there. You got it. That's very Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. So I, you know, you've been doing this for quite a while. We talked a little bit about how. A lot of people are coming to you and they may have a rec room you know or a family room or whatever downstairs that hasn't really been used and they want to build these home theater systems what in your experience why do you think that that's changing why is there that mm. shift why is there this sudden demand for that well it's been going on I'd say the last four or five years we've yeah. noticed a big increase in it and I think people are just getting away from um, you know the old pool table yeah. um, <laughs> in, the, in the in the basement, and I think the advent of smaller, easier to work with technology mm -hmm. has also made a big difference. Right. So it's no longer the investment that it once was. It sure. isn't as eccentric to right. have a home theater in your yes. home anymore. It's relatively affordable for anyone. The TVs have just gotten uh, so much smaller and more affordable, and that's really just uh, the that's technology. That's what it all kind of centers yeah. around, right, is exactly. that TV. Yeah. Yeah. And for people who are thinking about doing this, how much space do they need to have? Can you do this in a, in a room that would be like the size of a bedroom? Does it need to be a giant, great living room? It really doesn't, yeah. We see all shapes and sizes, yeah. um, and that will depend a lot on the, uh, the what's going to fit in there, obviously. Right. You're probably not going to go with a large projection uh, style right. in, a, in a 10 by 12 room, but right. but they do exist, got certainly, yeah. and we've got things that are small enough to work in just about any space. Well, this is such Excellent. a fun topic. Thanks yeah. for sharing this with us. Yeah, Adam White from Rubens Our Lifestyle, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for the information. Come down and see Adam, and he'll help you build your dream home theater system. Thanks for joining us today on Wisconsin Family. We'll see you next time.